Alright guys, so in my last video I talked to you guys about getting a separate launcher on this thing so that you can basically have a Kindle Fire tablet and an Android tablet in the same setup, which is really kind of cool. And today hopefully we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So you're going to have to have a couple prerequisites. Um, I would recommend getting this app I just, or this ROM I just installed on your device. Um, that I did in my last video, which is the stock Kindle Fire OS plus root access, um, and then also has OTA updates disabled, so Amazon isn't gonna push you something and mess up what you got set up. So I'd recommend doing that, um, and all the prerequisites that follow those that video. But anyway, if you get this on here, this is called ES File Browser right here. You're gonna need that application. You can get it from the uh, Amazon uh, App Store right here and at the store so make sure you have that uh, then go to this link right here which is my uh, web server and download this right here it's called kindle free underscore free apk this is an application that's hopefully going to get us um, a separate uh, launcher so what you're going to do is once you got it downloaded go into es file browser and it's going to be under downloads then here it is. We're going to click on it and we're going to go to settings. And this says to turn on, where is it at here? Allow, yeah, allow settings. So allow installation of applications to that. Then you can go back and click on it again and say install. Then hit open. And we're going to give it root access because it asks for it needs root access. So hit that one. And then, so here, here's where it gets, this is where it gets fun. This application should do everything to get us our Google applications, should get us our launcher, all of our goodies right here should work in this application now that you have it installed. So go to launch, launcher setup. Um, allows you to, requires, okay, so it, it talks about some different stuff with the launcher. We're not going to do that yet. Let's first go to launchers. So here's where you're going to pick your launcher. Um, I really like Apex Launcher. So you can see there's Go Launcher HD, ADW Launcher, Nova Launcher, Custom. I'm going to go to Apex Launcher because it is probably my favorite. Would you like to download it? Say yes. And it's going to pull the launcher. And it says, would you like to make this launcher available for use? Hit yes. And it may need a reboot for this to finish. Um, and then we're going to go to Google App Setup. This section will walk you through installing some required applications you need to get Google Apps to work on the device. So we're going to go ahead and click here. Say yes. Say yes. And this is going to get everything set in here for the Google applications to function correctly. Yes. Framework. Say yes. There we go. This one, say yes. All right, so those are all set. Then Google Applications, um, Google Chrome, sure, why not? Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and install that one. That's a pro feature. Let's see what else we got here. Gmail. Smaller is much larger. Would you like to download this application? Yes. Uh, so there is some pro features in here. But we're going to get the launcher set up and then we can get the market set up here if you Android market, Google Play, one half. I wonder if this will work for us. Let's try it. There you go. So we can get the Google Play in here at least. Setting up vendor APK. We'll do this one again. Sure, we'll do that. Install. And basically just, just go through everything on here and get everything installed. Say done. Um, then there's some miscellaneous things in here. Disable lock screen ads. Disable OTA updates. So you actually don't have to have them disabled through the ROM. You can actually do them through here. 
Android Market as default. I'm not going to do that. And then we're just going to do a reboot. Say reboot the device. And hopefully once this thing reboots, we're going to have a different launcher on the device. And hopefully, if it's set up correctly, we'll actually be able to switch between launchers um, on the device and actually go from Apex Launcher to the Android or Amazon OS. So it should be cool. Okay, so right here it actually shows you two different of two different launchers. So there's Apex, and there's your stock Kindle launcher. So I'm gonna actually do this. I don't know if it's how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna say set as default, and then I'm gonna hit the Apex launcher, and you're gonna see that it looks just like the Android operating system with an app drawer and everything right here. So this this is that that stock. Uh, Android look and feel which is really cool and then I think if this was done correctly yes it is right there it says Kindle home and shabam you're right back to your same Kindle fire look and feel so very very cool you can go into apps and hit apex and you're right back to the Android look and feel so let me see what we have in here for the market I think if it's installed correctly let's see Here you go, mark it right there. So yeah, there you go, you can add your account and this will get you into the uh, Google Play Store and now you can use all their applications and download them and do all that stuff once you log in with your account. So there you go guys, that is going to be one of the best setups on your device, um, really. If you really like the Amazon Kindle Fire OS but you really like Android, you wanna have some options, here you go, now you have both all due to that one little cool application. I'll give you guys a link to that in the thread on XDA where I got this application from. Definitely dig it, it makes this thing super easy to run. Really easy, no big deal. Check out the other settings in that application. Where was it at here again? Should be called Kindle Free. Right here, look through it, read through it, understand it, maybe try some other stuff out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm glad you guys liked this uh, little video, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Root Junkie out.